Namaste, beloved. This is Motherwood Wisdom, aka Valerie Ames, aka <laughs> whoever's speaking at the moment, okay? That's what it feels like anyway. So um, I'm just going to jump back in. Um, the first video is what it will is what it is and this one is what it is as well so I'm just going to um, jump into it the way it's been given to me so um, just please bear with me as I go through this again um, as you know if you've been following at all this is not my usual um, my usual way um, that I'm usually comfortable with. It usually does not have <laughs> all of this in there, but I am I'm being told to just be. So um, I'm just being. <laughs> That's all I can do is just be and be okay with, with just being. So um, it is what it is, and if you want to know what's in the first video, you will have to watch it. Um, it's it's called Full Moon Activated Download, so um, this is part two of that. And I'm just going to jump in there. Um, Jaguars and Rabbits, the Mayan Calendar, Alice in Wonderland. Um, wisdom of the canopic jar, w wisdom, sorry, <laughs> let me get some coffee, let me get some coffee, I'm grounding myself as I'm doing this, so, please bear with me, like I said, this is, this is all something I've graduated into, so. <laughs> it is what it is. The initiate does what she's told to do um, in the moment. So it is what it is. Normal her, normal imbalance wisdom of the canopic jars. My mama was not broken. She was a point on point getting me ready. Okay. Um, beloveds, we are reflections of each other. And your inner child has existed from day one. It stores all of your lifetimes. It, too, is a womb and a tomb for each of the inner childs that have ever existed in your DNA profile, knowing, memory, makeup. However you choose to to view that is what you're being taught now, what you're being given right now in this moment is to understand that inner child goes deeper than this lifetime. It goes back to the original lifetime. And you need to be able to understand the identity that truly lies within that knowing, that self that is within you. And I'm hoping this is resonating and and it will with those who it's supposed to. And what I'm being told and what I'm being given is that this is for those 144,000 to really understand and know who they are without a doubt so that they can do what they need to do in order to get themselves ready for the next phase that is upon us. This is harvest season. This is the separating of the wheat from the chafe. I have said this many times. It is what it is, beloveds. And because you are so loved, you are being told, you have been told, So it's about you accepting. It's about you becoming a seeker of truth. 
a seeker of your own identity. I can't tell you who you are. That's inside of you. That's for you to find out. But I can tell you this. You are a reflection of me. And I'm not doing anything that you can't do. I don't know anything that you don't know. I don't possess a strength that you don't possess. The only difference between us is will. The will to be who you are. The will to expand upon that concept in each lifetime. Okay. Again, um, this goes back to many of you have issues with your parents. So did I. Um, my issues were my father died when I was 14. My mother was diagnosed manic depressive, bipolar, blah, 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 blah. And she was who she was. And I am who I am. And I am who I am because of who she was and what she had went through, what this world had put her through. And she could not sit here like I can and explain, explain it. Hell, it took me to get to 53 years old before I understand it. It's this season, beloveds. It's the revelations found within the season. You are going to find out many things that you are going to have to deal with now. Truths. Truths that will force you to decide. I'm told to use the word force. Force you to decide. You chose these things. You made contracts with them. Okay? This is for you and your awakening. And you need to remember what you did. What you said. What you vowed. Who you are at your core. And another has no power over you other than what you give it or allow it. And ain't nothing as strong as mama, baby, okay? So stop doubting. Stop looking for something bigger than you. Stop looking for something better than you. Stop looking for something more golden than you, that shines brighter than you, that is worth more than you. Your identity is sacred. You are children of the sun. And it's time for you to understand that. And that's why mama is saying she's home. Again, it's not arrogance. It's knowing the time. Because I gave birth to the concept of time. Maya is the illusion of time. Kali Yuga is the one that says enough. Durga got tired. <laughs> Durga got tired. Okay? And Kali, hey, enough of this shit. Enough. Time to nip it in the bud, baby. Enough. Time for you to know who you are and where you come from and who your mama is. And you need to stand your behind up and defend her. And let every motherfucker know who she is, how she is, why she is, where she is, when she is, and she is in each one of us. So when you try to suppress, when you try to oppress, when you try to depress, baby, I'm here to tell you. It ain't arrogance.
ide Jaguars and Rabbits, The Mayan Calendar, Alice in Wonderland. Let's get to it. 1040. Now I went where I was led with this information and I was told to print it up so I could read it up. And this came from and I'm not going to put this person out there. I, I shared it on Facebook. Um, I'm not going to put this person out there. Um, I don't even. I'm spirit led. I do what I'm told. <laughs> you know, it's if the connection is there, it is what it is. Um, like I said, I'm spirit led. So <laughs> I don't have to go spying on anybody. Never have. If I want to know something, I ask. And I receive direct communication. Always have. Okay, let's get to this. If the rabbit has hopped into your life as an animal totem because become very aware of your surroundings and the luck that may abound. This furry creature is highly sensitive, tuning into everything around her in order to know when danger or opportunities are around. This highly intuitive animal uses her gut to know when it is the right time to face her fear and take a leap. The rabbit totem teaches us to lean, to learn, sorry, to learn, to be quiet and to listen carefully to what is going on in the environment so that you can accurately use our intuition as a guide. Weasel came and told me to be be quiet. Observe. Watch. With eagle eyes. Your environment. Come on back, segment. Come on, come on. Come on back. Come on back, segment. Rabbits are highly attuned to the earth. They take their time getting to know their environment. And they especially like to feel safe. In their surrounding, they have eyes that can see in every direction and ears that help them hear even the quietest sound. Their heart beats fast because they are constantly alert, busy and worrying about predators. They are associated with fear because of their timid nature. And are constantly on guard. Rabbits have an inner voice that helps to protect them. So, and this is the message that this curious animal can bring you.
their strength. You listening? Their strength lies in their ability to become very quiet. Very quiet. And this is the message that this curious animal can bring you. Their strength lies in becoming very quiet and to utilize this to their advantage. By becoming quiet, their confident inner voice can help to guide them where they need to be. Not arrogance. Not arrogance at all. I am my mama's child. I am a firstborn daughter. I am who and how she designed me to be. I am adaptable. Because I am a womb. And I can do everything a womb can do. Have a good one, baby. Messages are medicine from rabbit. If the rabbit has entered your life as a messenger, either through a dream or in your daily life, ask yourself what you have been worrying, been busy worrying about. What's been on everybody's mind right now? Identity. So you don't take this personal. This ain't about you in particular. This is about this matrix system. You're just a symptom. A symptom of it. I am not doing this. This is not about individuals. Okay? Regardless of who, where, or why you think it is, it is not. This is not about individuals. We are all tools, like I keep saying. No matter how sharp you think you are, you're used when she is ready to use you. And you're used for her purpose. So you can think you're in control all the fuck you want to. But guess what? Mau Mau, baby. Always has the last word. Always. Designed that way. Wisdom designed that way. So you hate what you hate because you ain't. You better learn to relate because you are. Find it within you. Seek it. That's how I got it. I sought it. I'll shut up and I listened. I am spirit led. That means I follow. A higher voice than my own. A higher calling than my own. A higher knowing than this earthly plane can even hold. And you want to rear up at my mama? Like a snake, huh? APAP. Ain't nothing new under the sun, baby. Nothing. And every contingency has been dealt with, okay, at her time. At her will. If the rabbit has entered your life as a messenger. Either through a dream or in your daily life. Ask yourself what has been. What have you been busy worrying about? 
Excuse me. <laughs> mm. Has your mind been racing with fear? Have you been wondering what your purpose is or where you are supposed to be, but have not been able to find your way? Now is the time to become very quiet. This is not judgment, beloveds. This is instructions. And you're going to take it how you take it. It's being given out of unconditional love. I'm not pointing my finger at you. I'm not saying bad, bad, no, no. I'm saying you are God. Know it. Own it. Be it. Now, you take it however you want to. But I told you where it's coming from. Deal with it. It's about your narrow ass, not mine. <laughs> now is the time to become very quiet. The message from rabbit animal totem is to learn to hush the constant mind chatter and listen to your inner voice. When you do, you will hear what your mission is. And you will be guided to what steps to take. This inner guide will help you, will give you the confidence you need to take action. My inner guide that's doing all of this, that, that allowed me to come forth, her name is Tia Ma'at. She is a red dragon force, red dragon kundalini energy, however you want to see it, baby. She is all that and a bag of chips and a motherfucking drink on the side. You hear me? A big gulp, baby. I'm sorry, that is so sick, Matt. <sighs> okay. Like I said, I am I'm learning to rein them claws in, but baby, y'all just don't know how what strength it takes to <sighs> bitch come back here. Okay. <laughs> Calm down, bitch. It's it's a mm. It is what it is. Woo! Okay, grounding. <laughs> grounding. Oh my goodness, this energy is something else. This energy is. But it's yummy as hell. I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. Ooh, baby. Bliss. Mm. Meow, meow. <laughs> Okay, let me stop. 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 Ask yourself if you have been taking opportunities that have been coming your way. Have you been hiding and waiting for those opportunities to come and perhaps letting meaningful experiences pass you by? I've been hiding, so yeah. <laughs> I've been scared of me. Okay, let me out to get y'all. <laughs> so I've been hiding, but I've been listening outside and inside. Because I love you. Because I love me. Because I love us. Because that's how it's designed. And even when that fire <laughs> wants to engulf me with its vitriol and anger how dare you <laughs> how dare you talk about my mama how how dare who mm. pulling her back pulling her back pulling her back have your fears been keeping you stuck from moving forward rabbit reminds you to face your fears so you can grow and evolve. Symbolism of rabbits and cultures. Rabbits are known for their fertility. <laughs> fertility, ability to give, have all these visions and, and, and see all these things and know all these things all at once, the most fertile. Their senses are the most fertile. Hmm? 
Rabbits are known for their fertility and are associated with the Celtic goddess of spring, Estera, Ostera, Easter. You know her as. Okay? Understand that these are the memorial times that you were told to celebrate her. It's in your memory, even if it's been twisted up and other things integrated into it or separated out of it. It is always intact because that's the way it was designed. Cycles and seasons, beloved. In the stand flow of mama. Just like that monthly period. Understand it on a larger scale. Um, Ostera. And with Ostera or Easter, many cultures associate them with the moon, including Native American, Hindi, and Chinese. Rabbits <laughs> have long been a symbol of birth. Or, I'm sorry. Rebirth. Rebirth, rebirth. Sexuality in springtime. If the rabbit is appearing as a messenger to you right now, perhaps it is because you are trying to conceive babies or new ideas. That's why this is all coming out, to help you with your new ideas for yourself, not for me. Not to get you some money from this matrix system because this shit is dying. Do you understand that? It's on its last fucking leg. Why are you trying to prop it up? Let this bitch fall so we can eat. Okay? And trying to bring those forward into the world. If you allow your creativity to flow and tap into that energy and move quickly with opportunities, then you will surely see new life spring forward. Okay. Rabbit is about fertility, luck, abundance, overcoming fear, anxiety, quick thinking, reproduction, taking chances. Rabbit or bunny people always tend to know where to go next. They are highly intuitive, and sometimes people can mistake this for luck. Rabbits have come to be associated with luck, perhaps because people think that they overcome dangerous situations very easily. But, but, it is because they know themselves. And just like that Horace eye, they use all of their senses, baby. And they tune the freak in so they can make the decisions that they need to make. They're connected. They never lose that connection. They ain't never. The fear is the adrenaline that propels. Yes, there is danger. But fear is a choice. <laughs> Fear is a fucking choice, baby. And you either going to fear, you either going to choose being fearful and staying in this 3D world with all its suffering because you think you can't stand your ass up and be God. Manifest the changes you want to see because you got to keep your foot on a woman's neck and let her know her place is underneath you. Pulling Sekhmet back, pulling her back, pulling her back, pulling her back. Sekhmet, Lilith, call her whatever you choose to call her, baby, but she is primal. She is primal. And she is where every animal got their instinct and, and become a predator and all of that. She is that wisdom. Understand the in essence and the energy that's speaking to you and where it's coming from. And why it is feels so in your face. Okay? And if you are triggered by it, ask yourself why. What does it remind you of? Is it a matriarchal force maybe that was in your life at some point or some lifetime? 
Is it some woman that made you feel less than? So you take it out on the whole feminine essence? On everything with a womb? Because you don't have one? I want you to understand something. The time that we're living in right now is about unity. It is about that male with no womb uniting with that female who has the womb. And whether you're creating flesh babies or new ideas, you need to come together. And in order for these babies to be whole, and holy, you need to know who you are before you create them. And you need to get in the habit of that. I want you to understand what slavery and enslavement meant. And I'm not just talking about to black people because every race has been enslaved upon this planet because it is not a racial thing the way you think it is. It is a, the way they told me, it's a hormonal dysfunction. That is why they removed the canopic jars. That is why they removed certain organs. Because it was those organs that caused the malfunction, so to speak, this time around. And the engineering and the encoding is to get you to the point again where you know yourself and you are able to heal your own frequency. Those frequencies and vibrations is what will affect those organs within you and those hormones. And that is where your healing will come from. That is where your greatest gifts are. That is why when that adrenaline hits you, baby, that flight or f- that fight or flight, that is a divine essence. That is what rabbit listens to. That's the language rabbit listens to. It's an internal language. It's not so much what the outside ears hear. It's what the inside ears hear. Okay? And mama wants you to know that all of this has been arranged and prearranged. So if you see things falling in doubt or you need to go back and check out something that has been said, she said go ahead because she laid it out this way for you. This is a vessel that is speaking to you. So if you think you fucking with Valerie, Ames, Middlebrook, that just shows how ignorant you really are. And you need to grow the fuck up. And stop smelling yourself because you funky, baby. Come and let mama wash that up for you. Grabbing segment back. Grabbing my ass back. I'm sorry. Whew. It is what it is, beloveds. This this energy, like I said, usually I don't go in like this. I don't go in deep like this. But I have been opening up because I've been that's what that's what's for me. That's this next phase. So As a spirit-led vessel, I'm doing what I'm told to do because this is only going to lead to the next whatever she has me doing. So if I don't do this, I'm missing out on the step and I'm not loving myself by what judging how I appear to somebody who don't even know themselves. Come on, Valerie. Come on now. Okay, 3508. 
All right, this one is done. Beloved, this information, let me finish reading this, I'm sorry. She does not hesitate to take a leap of action. Sorry. Rabbits have come to be associated with luck, perhaps because people think that they overcome dangerous situations very easily. But it is a combination of the highly sensitive nature of the rabbit and her constant attention to her surroundings, as well as her quick reaction time. She does not hesitate to take a leap of action. While this may not always work out to her advantage, it usually helps her survive. May not always work to your advantage, baby. And you may not see the wisdom of it in the moment that it happens. But trust and believe. Hindsight is twenty twenty, baby. And you will connect them dots. As long as you live and breathe, you will connect them dots. Believe me. Stay open. <sighs> While this may not always work out to her advantage, it usually helps her survive. Rabbit Totem reminds us to use our gift of intuition to our advantage and not to hesitate when the opportunity strikes. Okay, that was that piece. And this is the other piece um, about Rabbit. And, sorry, I'm, stuff is all over the place because this is... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is just, it is what it is. It is what it is. And I'm not, I'm tired of trying to explain it to myself. Okay. I'm not trying to explain it to you. I'm trying to explain this to myself. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to just deal with, with all of this energy. So I'm learning how to give it a home how to ground it, how to anchor it, and how to let it be without Valerie Ames and her morals and scruples and self-judgments and, and everything else interfering with it. This is learned behaviors. It's, it's, some, it's a process. <laughs> it's a process, beloved. It is a process. And you just have to let it be what it is. This is the chrysalis phase. You have to let it be what it is. You don't, you can't. The caterpillar cannot hate itself so much that it just shuts down and stops. Because if it does that, it'll never become the butterfly. It'll never know it has wings. It'll never know that it can morph into something bigger more than what it was. We may start out as one thing, but we have the ability to morph, to transcend this lower beastly nature. You know, that, that Sekhmet. <laughs> we, we can, with unconditional love, we can temper that. And that is, that's the word, temperance card in the tarot. That is the blending. That is finding the balance for the individual itself. And that balance will be different for everybody. Just as the balance that waters are masculine and feminine energies being measured and poured together. It's up to you to know yourself. This is by, this is, you can find this from the book, Animal Speaks. Mine is still in storage. <laughs> Animal Speaks by Ted Andrews, sorry. 
If the rabbit has hopped in, and I know this may repeat a little bit of the other, but it is what it is, beloveds, and you need to hear it, okay? If the, what the rabbit, listen. If the rabbit has hopped into your life as an animal totem, become very aware of your surroundings and the luck that may be abound. This furry creature is highly sensitive, tuning into everything around her in order to know when danger or opportunities are around. This highly intuitive animal uses her gut to know when it is the right time to face her fear and take a leap. The totem teaches us to learn to be quiet and to listen carefully to what is going on in the environment so that we can accurately use our intuition as a guide. A while back, I was reading the reading the tarot cards. I, I believe it was the Isis Oracle. Um, and I don't remember which card it was, but I was told that I was going to be dealing with some lower entities, some lower energies, some lower vibrations. And I'm like, okay. That was a heads up of what was coming to me. That was me being that rabbit and listening. And that was me being that rabbit and saying, okay, mama, how you want me to do it? You, you put it in my lap, what you want me to do with it? And mama said, let it unfold, baby. Let it unfold itself. Then they can see my hand in it. My hand got in your hand. So, <laughs> one of my dearest beloveds, whom I have many lifetimes with before and who I have built and helped build many foundations with before, many worlds. <laughs> I had a meme up of a little bunny, little white bunny, and this menacing, ravenous, bloody wolf was getting ready to spring on the rabbit. And it was cut in half. And on the bottom portion, you just saw the rabbit with the bones of the wolf. Okay, the rabbit had eaten the wolf. And this beloved said to me, mm -hmm, I knew it. See, see, I told you who you was. See, that's who you is. You showing everybody who you is. You know what I said to him? You missed the whole point of the picture. The bunny was being the bunny. The wolf was being the wolf. The bunny heard the wolf coming before she saw him. She knew he was a wolf. She knew what he wanted. Her life, her life force, her essence, so that she could never take care of her babies again. So yeah, she ate his ass. Sure did. And, and had no remorse about it. Because he was coming for her. And he had already, in his mind, decided who she was. That she was this innocent, defenseless thing that he could eat up, feed his appetite with. 
And there were plenty more rabbits, so. What's one more? And the rabbit said, there are many more wolves. What's the difference? If I eat you or not? I will stop you from eating my family. My sister bunnies. My cousin bunnies. My brother bunnies. By eating you, I save them. By digesting you, I understand how you work. Your instincts now become mine. I'm still a bunny. But I also have the wisdom of the wolf. So when you come to harm me, what looks like a bunny, turns into the wolf, or turns into that jaguar woman, baby, and gobbles your ass up. And goes back to being her own little quiet bunny with her little twitchy nose again being cute. <clears throat> Till the next wolf comes along. She don't call him. She don't, hey, wolf, I'm over here. Look, helpless little defenseless bunny. No. He hunts. He's a predator. He seeks her flesh. He feeds off of her blood and her pain. Danger is real. But fear is a fucking choice. No matter who you are. You got the instincts and whatever to adapt to any situation that presents itself to you. That is why I'm telling you this. Not stirring up shit or... or <coughs> singling anybody out. I'm not judging you. I want you to grow your ass up. I want you to take part in what you contract, fulfill your freaking contract. <laughs> this is not personal. That's your ego taking it that way. Just like it's been my ego all these years. Taking it my way, you know. Okay, stop fidgeting. 43, 48, 48. Oh my God. Okay, Valerie. <laughs> Focus. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> this highly intuitive animal uses her gut to know when it is the right time to face her fear and take a leap. The totem teaches us to learn to be quiet and to listen carefully to what is going on in the environment so that we can accurately use our intuition as a guide. Beloveds, how long has Mother with Wisdom been sharing animals with you and been telling you that these are our older brothers and sisters? These were on the earth before us. First there were the trees, who are known as the standing people. And then there were the four-leggeds and the two-leggeds. Okay? And the insects. So many things existed before we came into existence. Those things have much more wisdom than we do. 
but we are all connected and we all feed off of each other. It's the circle of life. That is the balance. But we have to balance ourselves and our own energy and know how to do that. And we have to realize and recognize once again that all is connected. And what you do to one affects all. So what Willie Lynch did, and people like Willie Lynch, was to strip your identity away from you. Narcissists are narcissists because of their broken hormonal systems. It's not flowing right. It's biological. But understand that it's also evolutionary, okay? It's how we are designed right now. Like I said, this is a full moon activation. The moon is regulating my hormones <laughs> right now, okay? So what you're getting is hormonal. It's that divine essence, that divine flow. It is synchronized with the energy right now. I have synchronized it. I am aligned. That is why you're getting this communication. If I had not done that, you would not be able to. If I had not gone through what I went through with the people that I went through it with, whom I love dearly, hear me. We agreed to this. I am not judging. I just want you to know your part in it. And love yourself and do what you need to do for yourself, however you see that, however you receive that. I love us all. Think of Kuan Yin. That's the energy that's speaking to you right now. When you hear this loving, nurturing, I love you, I love you, I love you. I want you to heal. I want you to know yourself. I know what the suffering is. I've lived many lifetimes. This lifetime is not my most painful. <laughs> not by, not even close. But I'm here to tell you that if I could do it inside this lifetime, so can you. So take it as it is given, beloved. And I'm, I'm being drawn to, <laughs> I've, I've got to hear this. I'm sorry, I've, I've got to hear it. I've got to stop for a minute. It's just calling. I wasn't looking over there at it and you heard it was off, but get back to the rabbit portion of this. Um, again, I apologize. 
like I said, this is hormonal. This, my energies are all over the place. So, it is what it is. And I guess I need to stop apologizing for that, huh? Have it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for being me. I'm sorry. Me is too much for you. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> This totem teaches us to learn to be quiet and to listen carefully to what is going on in the environment so that we can accurately use our intuition as a guide. Rabbits are highly attuned to the earth. They take their time getting to know their environment, and they especially like to feel safe in their surroundings. They have eyes that can see in every direction and ears that help them hear even the quietest sound. The heart beats fast because they are constantly alert, busy and worrying about predators. They are associated with fear because of their timid nature and having to be constantly on guard. Rabbits have an inner voice that helps to protect them, though, and this is the message that this curious animal can bring you. Their strength lies in the ability to become very quiet and to utilize this to their advantage. By becoming quiet, their confident inner voice can help to guide them to where they need to be. So you're being told what to do, beloveds. You're, you're being given the information from spirit directly. Messages are met or medicine from rabbit. If the rabbit has entered your life as a messenger, ask yourself what have you been busy worrying about? Has your mind been racing with fear? Have you been wondering what your purpose is or where you are supposed to be, but have not been able to find your way? Now is the time to become very quiet. Learn to hush that constant mind chatter and listen to that inner voice. When you do, you will hear what your mission is and you will be guided to what steps to take. This inner guide will give you the confidence you need to take action. Ask yourself if you have been taking opportunities that have been coming your way. Have you been hiding and waiting for those opportunities to come? And perhaps letting meaningful experiences pass you by. Have your fears been keeping you stuck from moving forward? Rabbit reminds you to face your fears so that you can grow and evolve. And, beloveds, that is going to be this video. And the next one will be on Panther. And then we'll get into the reading, the card readings. Um, and, again, it is what it is, beloveds. Please understand that and understand that. And understand, too, I keep saying, understand, understand, understand me. Because I am still understanding this myself. And I'm just going with it. I'm just letting it do what it needs to do. Um, be what it needs to be, appear how it needs to appear. And the energy is, is very loving. It's very nurturing. And it's very familiar. So, um, this is this portion, and this is what rabbit symbolizes, and this is also a moon activation, and if you know anything, you know that the hair has a big symbiology with the moon. They are very interconnected in lore all across the world, globally, the rabbit and the moon, in the most indigenous of stories, you'll find the connection. You've also been given the festival of Easter or Ostere. I advise you to look into that as well and see how it um, You need to look at the festival itself and what is involved in that festival. The eggs, bunnies and eggs. Hmm. Ham is eaten. Kosher ham. 
<laughs> What's the difference between a kosher ham and a regular ham? Do you know? Okay, that's that's it with the rabbit. Um, Rabbit and wolf are tied together, so you need to understand the wolf correlation with the rabbit as well. What I'm getting ready to get into is the jaguar connection to rabbit. That is a Mayan connection. That is a very ancient connection. Um, it's also very ancestral. Um, star nation, star people, ancestral wisdom. And it has a lot to do with the cycle of cycles and seasons and ciphers of what we consider to be time. Okay, <laughs> that's it. That's it for this portion, and like I said, I'll upload this and, and do what I need to do because my computer is low on storage because it, I, I bought a cheap one, um, and it was cheap because it didn't have a lot of room on it, and what I thought I could do, um, I haven't been able to do as much as I wanted to. <laughs> but it is what it is, and, and I am good with that. And oh, I'm hearing, okay. I'm going to let this just take it out because it caught me again. It's not, you can't hear it because the volume is off, but I feel the energy. Energy, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on and I'll tell you um, the exact song. Hold on a minute. Oops. Hold on. I'll get it. I'll get it right. I promise. Diva Prima, Natan, Manos, and Friends. And it's called T W A M E V A. Twamve. 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 And he is on that flute, and oh my God. Primal. Primal. It's primal. I swear it's primal. <laughs> you talking about that it's something about wind instruments. And the feminine ear. Okay. And and <laughs> okay. It goes back to the hairs and the ears and in the nose and, and other places. Um, 
those hairs are antennas that pick up vibration and frequency. And that is why, um, excuse me, that is why um, flute music is what it is, why it's, it's known to soothe the beast, the passions. It, it changes the frequency. It adjusts. So when you find yourself in a angry mode or you want to put yourself in the mood to worship the goddess or the god or or just put yourself in a blissful state, so to speak, peaceful, blissful state, listen to flute music, listen to wind instruments. Because that's what it'll do for you. Lose yourself in it. Allow yourself to just become a note on the air with it. And just just be. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that's me and my weirdness, I know. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm cutting this video off. And I'll be doing the next one. Um, the next one will be on Jaguar and Panther and what that um, information has for this download of the full moon. Okay, thank you.